हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग एस्टीमेट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द क्वांटिटीज ऑफ डिफरेंट आइटम ऑफ वर्क्स सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग एस्टीमेट वी हैव जस्ट कवर्ड अप अ सम बेस्ड ऑन लॉन्ग वॉल एंड शॉर्ट वॉल मेथड इन दैट सम वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सेवन क्वांटिटीज एंड वी हैव प्रिपेयर्ड एन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट शीट सो टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी अनदर सम based on long wall and short wall method so let us begin with the drawing first so as you can see in the drawing the plan and elevation is given here this is the plan of a row house building there are three row house consisting of a veranda room and kitchen now the steps are at the front end and at the back end of the row each row house so there are six units of the steps and each unit of the step is consist of two steps the chhajjas are provided above the kitchen door and window only the elevation is also given and above that elevation you can see the opening schedule of the doors and windows is given let us look at the section drawing so as you can see in the section drawing this is the detail section the first the uh, foundation uh, details are given as 0.90 meter base width above that there is a brick footing of width 0.6 0.5 and 0.3 now another part of the plinth is also given now in the main section there is a balloon with the notation a is given that notation a is representing the flooring details of the entire drawing on the uh, other side of the section the slab zooming view is also given having the lintel and the chhajja so i hope we are clear about the section drawing now let us look at the question the plan of a row house is given in the figure calculate the quantities in measurement sheet and adopt the suitable specification so the quantities which are required to find out are excavation in foundation pcc in foundation brickwork in foundation brickwork in superstructure rcc work for slab chhajja and lintel and the last quantity is earth filling in excavation here in question we have given that adopt suitable details or adopt the following details so the details is plinth height is 0.45 meter riser is 15 cm and tread is 30 cm consider chhajja over kitchen door and window only wall thickness is 30 cm and parapet wall thickness is 20 cm flooring details lintel details and other uh, typical foundation details are taken from the uh, detail section given in the drawing and each row house is separated at veranda and terrace so we are doing this sum by the method of long wall and short wall so remember the concept the first step of the method of long wall and short wall is to decide in which direction we are taking long walls and in which direction we are taking short walls so here students in vertical direction we are taking long walls and in horizontal direction we are taking short walls so as you can see in the figure this is the direction of the long wall and the direction of the short wall so as you can see here the long walls are considered in the vertical direction so there will be four long walls and 12 short walls in smaller parts of 3.5 meter now once you have decided the long wall and short wall direction the next step is to find out the center to center distances let us see so center to center distance in the vertical direction as you can see there is a kitchen of vertical dimension 3 the wall thickness is 30 cm 
So the center to center distance will be 3.3. Then there is a groove having vertical dimension 5 meter. So the center to center distance will be 5.3. Now let us see the veranda. Here the veranda is up to the outer boundary of the wall and that is 2.3 uh, 2 meter. Now to get the center to center distance it is it will be plus 1.15 on that this side and plus 0.15 on the other side. So the total uh, dimension will be 2.3 as well. So total center to center distance will be 3.3 plus 5.3 plus 2.3. Now in the horizontal direction in twin dimension is 3.5 and the wall thickness is 30, so center to center distance will be 3.8. So as you can see in the figure, I have highlighted all the center to center distances of vertical direction and horizontal direction. So now we can start our quantity calculation. So beginning with the first quantity, excavation in foundation. Here we have divided the entire drawing into long wall and short wall. So we need to calculate the quantities in long walls and short wall. So first, talking about the long walls, the formula is center to center distance plus one width. Now center to center distance was 10.9 and the width at whichever level we are working. So we are working at the foundation level, the width was 0.9. So we'll get the length as 11.8. The number of long walls are 4. Now the width again 0.9 and the height in the section is 1.4. So we'll get the quantity around 59.4 cubic meter. Now talking about the short wall, the formula for the short wall is center to center distance minus one width. Here center to center distance was 3.8 minus 0.9. So that will be 2.9. The number of short walls are 12. And the width and height is 0 0.9 into 1.4. So we'll get the quantity as 43.8 cubic meter. Now, here the steps is also given having a separate foundation. Let us look at the section. So as you can see in the section, the steps are having its own foundation. So, see this figure. I have prepared an entire zooming view of that section. Now, we have learned this concept in center line method. The length will, the length of the steps will be as equal to as the dimension of the door because, because it is just in the front of door. But for B, we need to apply that formula. Remember the formula. Bottom width minus top width divided by 2. Here, the bottom width is 0.9, top width is 0.3 divided by 2. So here, it will be 0 0.9 minus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.2. So 0 0.3. So in the original width, 0 0.3 should be deducted because it is the common part as highlighted in the figure. So in length, we'll get 1.4. Again, remember, for steps, a dotted extra line is provided of 10 centimeters. So 1.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1. Width, we have just calculated as 0 0.40. And the height of that footing for individual steps is 0.1. So we'll get the total quantity as 103.66 cubic meter. I hope we are good up to this point. Now, second quantity is PCC. So in PCC, we already know that the numbers L and B are the same as the excavation. Only height will be changed. So the PCC thickness here is given 0 0.20 meter. Now in the case of steps, the B will be the original B of 0.7 because the PCC will be at the different levels. Also, the numbers of steps I have written 6. Why? Because in drawing you can see there is in steps in front end and the back end of the each rows, there are three rows in front end and back end. So, three two six units are there. So, in number in excavation and PCC numbers is six. So, uh, for PCC, you will get the quantity as 15.35 cubic meter. Now, the third quantity is brickwork in foundation. 
So for brickwork in foundation, uh, we have already learned this in the last session that first we will calculate for the, all the long walls and then for the short walls. Now, here in the section, as you can see, the brick footings are of having 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 width. So, in the calculation for the long walls, center to center distance plus one width. So, center to center distance was 10.9 plus 0.6, plus 0.5, plus 0.4 and plus 0.3 and the heights are taken from the section. So, this is for the long wall. Now, let us calculate for the short wall. So, this is for the calculation of short wall. Now, the formula for the short wall is center to center distance minus one width. So, 3.8 minus 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3. So, for the, to the total quantity long wall plus short wall will get nearly around 36 cubic meter. These are the, uh, the quantity should be up to 2 decimal accurate. So, so 36.20 is the correct answer. Now, quantity number 4, brickwork in superstructure. Let us see the section again. In the section, from plinth up to slab level, the height is 3 meter. The fourth quantity is brickwork in superstructure. So, here I have divided the quantity that ground to plinth, plinth to slab and slab to parapet. Let us look at individually. So, we have uh, we have already been told that the plinth height is 0.45. Now, we know the formula for the long walls and short wall. Here, here at plinth level, the wall thickness is 0.30. Now, for plinth to slab, now we are talking at the superstructure level. So, look, so just focus on the numbers of short wall. The numbers are 9. Why? See this figure. So, for this reason, only 9 walls will be there in the superstructure. Now that in the front end of the veranda, there is no wall. So, 12 minus 3, the 9 walls will be there in superstructure. So, coming back to the calculation. So, this is for the ground to plinth and plinth to slab. Now, let us look at the parapet level. Now, in the question, we have been told that each row house is separate on the terrace. So, row house 1 will have two long walls and two short walls. Row house 2 will be have two long walls and two short walls. And row house 3 will be have two long walls and two short walls. But for row house 2, the vertical walls, this, this wall, the one wall will be shared with row house 1 and this wall will be shared with row house 3. So, only two walls of horizontally will be individual. So, once uh, for, for, for row house 1, I will cal calculate two long walls. So, it will be consisting of one common wall of uh, row house 2. So, this is how I have calculated for the slab level 2, slab, slab level 2, uh, parapet level. And the steps, the brick steps, there are two steps in given in the plan. So, step 1 is of 0.6 and step 2 of 0.3 because the riser is 15 and the tread is 30 centimeter. So, the total quantity will get 93.26 cubic meter. But again, in this quantity, there is a door or window in between which we need to deduct. So, there are two deductions. Deduction for the doors and windows and deduction for the lintel. Let us see. So, starting with the deduction of doors and windows, we know the process that list out all the doors and windows appearing in the drawing. Count them. L cross H is given in the question having open, door, door and window opening schedule. And the width will be equal to the wall thickness. So, we will get the deduction of doors and windows as minus 8.32 cubic meter. Very easy. So, I have uh, calculated very quickly. Now, moving forward with the deduction of the lintels. In lintels, we need to assume the bearing or we need to take the bearing as 10 centimeter. See the section uh, question uh, or the section. Anywhere it is given the bearing, if not, then you can assume 10 or 15 centimeter accordingly. So, I have taken 10 centimeter. Now, the process will be the same. List out all the doors and windows. List out the count of them. Now, the length will be plus 10 centimeter on the both the side. So, for D, if the length is 1.2, plus 0.2 should be added. Now, the width is the, uh, as the wall thickness and the height of the lintel is given in the section as 0.15. So, 
this is how we will get the deduction for the lintels as minus 0.85. Now we will have the positive quantity nearly around 93 or 94 minus the 8.32 uh, as uh, doors and windows deduction and 0.85 as lintel deduction. So we will get the net quantity nearly around 84 cubic meter. I hope we are very clear up to this point. Moving forward with the fifth quantity, RCC work for slab, chajja and lintel. So first RCC slab, remember in the last session I have told you that slab dimensions are always taken as, taken as out to out. So here are the out to out dimension for the slab, in vertical direction it will be nearly around 11.9 and in horizontal direction it will be 11.7. The slab thickness is given as 0.12. So we'll get the quantity for the slab as 15.72 cubic meter. Now RCC chajja. Now chajjas are only to be considered over kitchen door and window. So the bearing was 0.1 at the both ends. So we'll consider the chajja length extra as 0.1. So the total quantity for the chajja will be nearly 0.4 cubic meter. And the last is RCC lintel. Now RCC lintel is the same quantity which we have deducted in the quantity number 4 as minus 0.85 because of it was of RCC. Now in the RCC we have to add it. So plus 0.85. So 15.72 plus 0.4 plus 0.85. So we will get the total RCC quantity as 16.99 cubic meter or 17 cubic meter. So this was our fifth quantity. Now the last quantity is earth filling in excavation. To understand this scenario, let us see a figure. This is our detailed foundation section drawing. Now, what we have done in the foundation is, have a bottom is of 0.9 PCC, above that 0.6 of brickwork, 0.5 brickwork, 0.4 brickwork, 0.3 brickwork. So the remaining highlighted hatched part is being filled with the sand. So there is no concept of doing this. There is a simple mathematics that if I know the total quantity of excavation as 103 point uh, nearly 103 cubic meter. Now out of that if I deduct this PCC quantity and this brickwork quantity the remaining quantity of will be of sand filling. So doing that so earth filling in excavation will be equal to total excavation minus PCC quantity minus brickwork up to ground level. So we'll get answer as 51.77 cubic meter. So this was our sixth quantity. Now let us prepare again an abstract sheet. So this is our abstract sheet for the sum number two. You know the columns, serial number or item number, description of the items, quantity which you have calculated just here, rates from SOR schedule of rates which you have already learned or might learning in the uh, rate analysis uh, chapter. Then unit per, per unit per meter cube per square foot or whatever it is. And then multiplication of the quantity into rate which will give you the amount. So here the rates are taken from the SOR. Now the total. So here the total cost is nearly around 6,17,000. But remember in abstract sheet we need to add 3% of contingencies and 2% of work charge establishment. So we will get the total amount as 6,47,000 or you can round it off by 6,50,000. So that is about our abstract shape. I hope we have done two sums based on center line method, two sums based on uh, long wall short wall method. We have learned the concept of steps. Now from next session we are going to start a reinforcement calculation. So this is it. That was all about in today's session. In case of any query or doubt, you can always contact me on my mail or my number. Thank you.